All right, I'm just gonna give a quick update to the finishing touches. So this ugly deal here, this is gonna be the operational uh, piece for obviously making the tractor go forward and backward, which would consist of all this. And uh, all meanwhile, um, I can be operating the uh, plow as well. Down here, you can see where it plugs in. You can actually pull this out and just use a little plug that I um, yanked off of a, a lamp. And you just plug it back in. This is where the wiring comes in. This is the wire for the plug. It comes up around, and I just have it solid uh, hooked up to the battery right now. This other wire here, uh, part of it goes down there up to the uh, handle. The other part, this will sit on top of the hood once I have the hood put on this thing. I made these nails uh, so that uh, I can take the wiring off or put it back on. It's an easy slip on, slip off situation. Same thing with down low. I have one more up there down here and uh, the wiring just comes down to the motor. This is what I came up with today. I really like this ordeal here that makes it uh, remotely move back and forth. But I wanted something more permanent uh, so that I could throw in this. And uh, that way it's not going to move. It can't move. So if I hit uh, like a really big rock or something, it's not going to just rip this right out. Um, and I can go a little bit faster. I don't have to be as careful because um, I've got that uh, nail stuck down in there. These here just simply guide this bar along. Just put that back so that way it can't come out. Can't pop around. A little spring that's hooked in right there. And this I found rebar I've had forever in the junk pile. And I drilled these holes through it. And uh, I uh, just found some nails, bent those up, found another nail. Put this down here because if I, if you slip the nail in, um, and say the rebar was to turn all the way, that this would actually be upside down and it would, the nail would fall out, then you'd have the whole thing falling out. So I put this loop right here so that uh, um, this thing can turn all at once but it can only go so far and it runs into this. Then I did the same situation over here. I drilled another hole through this piece of rebar that's welded onto the, the drill that I have in there. Put a nail through it, a little washer. This was a confusing piece. Um, all, it, all this is is just, just a steel tube that goes over a motor uh, to this old uh, drill that a friend gave to me. Um, and then uh, I just have some bolts that pinch the thing just to hold on to it just enough to so it's not falling out. Quick release hook for uh, just taking this st stuff off and putting it away at ease. Same thing with this. Um, quick release pulls off so if I want to take this thing off for summer it will be easy and it won't be a problem I'll get a hose clamp for this instead of zip ties because it will be able to hold it stronger and then I would put the original handle back on it so that includes all the details enjoy <laughs> 